Brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, this brother wisdom. What's going on, guys? You know, I um watch the movie. My wife and I watched the series Black Earth Rising on um, Netflix. <clears throat> it was a very intriguing uh, series to watch, but I pulled the metaphysical meaning so because you know every, anything these orcs do they always have a hidden agenda and um basically the movie was about what happened in the rwanda with the tusis and the hutus and there was this one um sister who was rescued by this orc woman and her husband and the husband ended up dying and the woman was a um prosecutor for the international courts okay um what i got out of it was the fact that the international court system wanted to go after this one brother in africa this one sumerian who they claimed had committed war crimes but they did not want to go after the source which was the French government and as the movie goes on or the series goes on and it gets close to the end of the series and a lot of people have died a lot of people were killed a lot of information was suppressed a lot of information was destroyed this uh, sister who's playing this role she ends up going to Rwanda and it was more so like an awakening because she pretty much saw the this orc woman for what she was and she says you're not my mother <laughs> you know even though this uh, sister's her mother the sister mother and father had died um, during during this battle that ensued between the tribes that was caused by the f uh, French government. Um, she, the sister had an awakening and said, you're not my mother. And she pretty much called her a cracker in so many ways. And oh, Mangazi, Mangazi is like calling her a cracker. <laughs> Um, but what I got out of it was the fact that as it got closer to the end and this other sister wanted to bring back the history because they kept saying you cannot move forward without going back into your history to find out what happened and how this happened. And the sister wanted to go back, and then she was end up ended up putting put in jail, and then they released her for whatever. But you know, it was a bunch of orcs in there who was playing attorneys and judges and all these other positions, and the sisters was you know in and out of jail, being threatened, being killed. I mean, all kind of stuff was going on. But the gist of it was, and I heard it so clearly. It's you know. It was like, we don't want you to make the people remember the past. We just want the people to keep flowing the way things are going right now. Because there is peace. And there is peace among, and we don't want any division. <laughs> Because there is peace among us. And the other sisters say, yeah, but if, if we can go and show what happened in the past, then we can mend ourselves together so that we can go after the real source. And so many of our people are divided against each other. And they refuse to go to the real source. And they don't want to remember the past. 
They don't want to remember what we went through. The mayhem. The, the, our bodies being cut into pieces, being ripped apart by horses, children being thrown into to, uh, alligator waters so these orc beings can catch the alligator and use the little, uh, our little uh, 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 baby boys as bait. So many young baby boys were killed, eaten by alligators while these orc beings uh, captured the alligators so that they can eat alligator meat and have alligator shoes, alligator belts. <laughs> How our women were literally just operated on and they cut out their vaginas with them wide awake, telling them, you're going to take it, shut up had our women stretched out on tables where these orc men could go and just screw them willingly the way they want to made our men bend over tied down where these orc men rape them from behind sexually rape them sodomize our men and our people who say that we're in peace, who say that we're going good, we're just going along with the government. We don't want any, any division. Let's stay good with these white friends we've got. Let's keep on, we, we, let's, let's, let's not remember the past. Let's just go on to the future. There is no future if you cannot identify with your past. It's impossible all over the planet. It's impossible for us to identify a future without knowing what happened in the past. The very source of the problem. And so many of our people are against war. It's the first thing they say is, well, we need money to war. No, you don't. You need spirit. You need discipline. You need a, a confidence in yourself. You need knowledge yourself. You need to have the knowledge of the cosmos and the knowledge of nature. This is how you war. And it costs zero dollars to, to gain that energy. Only thing it costs is a few minutes of meditation a day. 20, to, 20 minutes to an hour of meditation a day to gain this knowledge. It's so important that we remember what happened. Because if you forget, you're going to fall into the trail of zombies who's just going along to get along. And I don't want to get along no more. I'm tired of money. I'm tired of bills. I'm tired of this government. It's time to go to war. It's time to take this to a whole new level. See, black earth can't rise unless the people rise. That's the only way that black earth can rise is if the people rise. And so many of our people are caught in this illusion. Talking to a sister one day and says, you know, we got to get ready for war. I got I got these bills I got to pay. No, we got, we got a war. The only way that we're going to get rid of these bills and all this money is we got to war, go to war. I'm just concerned about making sure I get these bills. I got to pay these bills off. I got credit card bills. I can't go to war because I got credit card bills. You see that? The brother say, oh, okay, we can't war. Why? Because we, we, ain't, we ain't got the weapons that they got, but you got the weapons within you. All you got to do is pull them out. They fear your weapons that they can't see. They, they, they fear your weapons that they can't see over the weapons that, that, that they can see. Well, I, I don't know nothing about that. All I know is, you know, um, I got to stack up on these papers so I can go get these new J's. And, um, you know, if you go to war, hey, 
you know, much power to you, bro. But I gotta get these J's, cause you know, I, you know, I can't, I can't be on, on the on the low side of life, man. You know, I gotta, I gotta stay in the high life. <coughs> these are actual. These, these I, brothers and sisters, I actually talk to. So the whole gist of it is, Black Earth rising. The only way that Black Earth rises is if the so-called black people everywhere truly see where we come from. You cannot deny the past. You cannot deny the past. Because if you deny the past, then you negate the future. And if your future is negated and you deny the past, then your presence is only a lie. You're living one big fat lie. And that's why things don't work out for you. Look at all these people going to church every day trying to get a blessing from something or someone that don't exist. Everything that you do should be about nature. You know, I go outside in the morning times and I feed the birds. Even when it's snowing out there, you got snow all over the grounds. I know the birds are hungry because they can't, you know, they can't um, uh, feed themselves. There's no worms to come up. You know, they these work beings and sprayed the sky and made made the uh, uh, got the uh, uh, snow all over. So I shovel shovel as much as up I can, and I get the sidewalk cleared out as much as I can, and I got some I always keep some some old bread in the house, and I crumble the bread up, get about two or three slices, and I crumble it all up and get it in nice little pieces, and I have a pile. And these birds look for me every morning. They look for me every morning because there is no food for them to eat. So I try to provide something for them to eat. I try to provide something for them to eat because the worms are not coming up in the cold. The worms are going to stay down where it's warm inside the ground. So, you know, as well as the other bugs, all the bugs are dead. And they don't hatch until it gets warm, and that's when the birds can eat. You know, get the crickets and the and the worms and the and the, and the grubs and the slugs and the snails and all that. The, the birds, you know, they then they have something to eat. But until then, they don't have anything to eat. So the thing about it's you know, taking care of nature. So one of our people are so selfish, they can't even take care of nature. Connect with nature. You see how people in the church, like I said, they, they're, they're, they're looking for a blessing, but if they learn how to bless nature, when you bless yourself, when you go into meditation, you're blessing nature, and nature gives back to you. You're giving your energy to nature, and nature returns that energy to you. It's so important. You know, that was, and that's the whole gist of this, this, this series, Black Earth Rising. Because it's told a story of a situation that happened and how people will set up and will be scared to discuss this situation in front of the very orc beings whose forefathers did this to us because they don't want to be on the bad side of these beings thinking that if I'm on the bad side of them then I can they, they may prohibit me from getting this or this or that are you serious money, position, their friendship is their friendship worth it we see what they did to us and what they're still doing to us they all have an agenda their agenda is to is to make sure that we are not one with each other. That's why they come and want to mate with us and want to be friends with us. Want to pull us away from our own people. Each one of them have an agenda. 
And their agenda is to, to, to make sure that we as a people do not fully awaken. That's their agenda. And this is the reality of everything that's going on now. This is the reality. <laughs> you can't get no worse than this situation that we're faced with. Our ascension is based upon your 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 level of thinking, your meditation, where you are in spirit land. Right now, I'm on celestial gateway number 49. How many of you guys are there? I'm almost there. Seven days ago, I was on 42. I'm on celestial gateway number 49. It's important that we raise our vibrational energies daily by not only remembering the past, but figuring out a way to destroy the present that we're going through so that we can move into a future, a bright future without an enemy in front of us. That means if you gotta practice throwing energy, if you gotta practice your Tai Chi, if you gotta practice, you know, doing your, uh, uh, building your, your, your metaphysical stuff, your spiritual energy, if you gotta practice that daily practice and perfect it, perfect it, your water bending, your fire bending, your your uh, 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 electrical bending, your bending of electricity, electrokinesis, you know, your planet bending, your air bending, all your different other elemental powers. Practice them daily and never forget where we come from. But one thing you have to remember is you don't want to hate them. You don't want to become emotional. I've told you, I've said this before. You don't want to become emotional. You want to be peace within yourself. So when you're confronted with them, you can just hold your hand out and say, turn to stone. And you watch them turn to stone right in front of you. And you have to believe in yourself when you say it with much confidence. But you have an inner peace and an outer rage at the same time. It's like your yin yang. Inner peace and outer rage. Outer rage and inner peace. And you do it with much peace and glory, passion, and power. I tell you what, I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to do this. Now, I'm going to pass the energy, ancestral energy to you all. Use this portal as a gateway. It's important that we remember who we are and where we come from. All of our prophecies that we wrote on the walls. These art beings took those and put it in a book called the Bible. The Hopi prophecies. The Aztec prophecies. The Mayan prophecies. The Apache prophecies. The Cherokee prophecies. We put all these things on walls. <laughs> and they took the stuff that we put on the walls and put it in a book and, and created a storyline with it. That's why the Bible is in the fictional section of the, book, the bookstore. We have to remember who we are and where we come from. Never forget. Never forget the mayhem. Never forget the massacres. Never forget the deaths of our people. So many of our people were just buried in shallow graves. Look in New York when they go to dig up to build buildings and they have grave sites, shallow grave sites with thousands of our people who were killed. And these are people who were killed 
um, when 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 the land was being conquered, and these orc beings just built, just dug uh, uh, shallow graves, and threw our bodies in them, all the way down to the babies. You're talking about some beings who have no compassion or no feelings for us whatsoever. That's why they can so easily want to come and infiltrate. They want to get mad at the sisters for taking a retreat in Costa Rica and not inviting them. They want to sue because they could not come and infiltrate what we were doing. They need to make sure that we do not ascend. And this is their duty, and we must remember everything. We must remember everything. We cannot sit back and allow these beings to erase and destroy our history. We cannot sit back and allow them to erase and destroy the mayhem and massacre and killings and murders of our people, of our planet. The animals. We cannot sit back and allow them to change the, the, the whole scope of time. See, they're scared now. There are flashes, big giant flashes and booms everywhere. And these brothers who the our people who are in the ships, in the cloaked ships, they're entering our atmosphere coming through hyperspeed flash light as they enter and we're going going straight to the ground <laughs> they're going straight to the ground going inside the ships that are underground that can't be seen black earth rising saw a video where where the, the down uh, in South America the the land was breathing the planet is alive the land was breathing <sighs> our planet is furious the suns are the, our, our suns are coming in even closer our moons are coming in even closer everything is moving closer And these celestial beings who are above us are sending down frequencies to awaken our people. The moon is awakening, the sun is awakening. This is why they, 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 these orb beings are taking the, the, the time, the liberty of spraying the sky. They have tons and tons of this aerosol shit. And I'm tired of them spraying. They have tons of this aerosol shit. And it's time for this shit to be destroyed. We've got to prepare ourselves for the most valuable war that we will ever fight. Prepare our hearts and minds. The system is about to be shut down for good. As um, my family and I was sleeping last night, we didn't even know the lights had went out. It's just like the, the lights in the whole neighborhood had went out for a few seconds and then came back home. So yes, the power grids are failing. <laughs> How we knew because there were certain a couple TVs that were on and when we came, when we got up, they were off. So, yep, power went out. Had a fan, a heater in one of the rooms, and um, the heater was off. Yep. <laughs> power went out. Things are happening, my people. The earthquakes are increasing by the, by the, the minute. They're really increasing. But one thing we have to remember is where we come from and what they did to us. We cannot allow them to wash this under 
the rug. We can't allow them to sweep this under the rug. We can't allow them to whitewash this. This is why we should be able to tell our children everything. They teach our children, oh yeah, these white people, these Europeans came here for a better life. No. No. They came here to steal our resources. They came here to steal our resources. To rule over the resources. It's over. Their party is over. They've partied for the past 470 years. And it took that long for our people to awaken, fully awaken. It took that long for our people to fully awaken to the powers that we had. It's us who had to awaken. Our planet didn't go into no lower state. It's our people that went into a lower state. While our planet was traveling through the cosmos, our people was were, were just flabbergasted, just, just fucked up. And now when you want to talk true, true metaphysics, they want to say you're crazy, okay? Yeah, I'm crazy. But I'm not crazy enough to believe your bullshit. Black Earth Rising. Black Earth Rising. Don't forget what they did to us. Don't forget how they stripped us away from our tribes. And, and remember, they, they wiped out tribes. They wiped out whole generations. Killed everything in the name of their God. The same God that they want us to worship. The same God these Hebrew Israelites be talking about. They did this in the name of their God. <laughs> Black Earth rising. We're rising. And this pimple is coming to a head. And it's being squeezed. And everything is going to come out. And we're going to pull the sack out right along with it. Because when, when we get rid of these beings, we're not going to leave nothing behind. Black Earth rising. Shit's happening. Just want you guys to watch the ground as it begins to split open. Watch the temperature of the planet. <laughs> Either did they actually think they're going to actually keep the temperature of the planet at a steady low they actually think they're going to keep doing this no nature's a beast nature's a beast <laughs> you can't fight nature it's time for us to wake my people we'll be doing a, a mass meditation very soon can't do it at night. I'm really tired. Really tired. Got a busy day tomorrow. But just want to share that with you guys. Black Earth Rising. We're not going to allow them to tell us to not remember what they did to us. We're not going to tell them. We're not going to allow them to do that. We're going to remember the ancestors, the ancestors, and all the people who shed blood on our planet. All power to the multi chakra, celestial energy beings. Peace to you all, and much power to you.